In this tutorial, we're going to look at looping cloth. You can see in here, I've got an extrude with a text spline. The extrude is set to a zero offset. Um, so it's just basically 2D for cloth. And the caps, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose the Delaunay grid. If we fold this down, we can set the density high. Now you can see it's not very even at the moment. And that's because of the spline. So we need to subdivide that spline. So come down to the text spline, choose subdivide instead of adaptive. And here we can set the maximum length. And I'm gonna set that to be two we could possibly make that denser for more detail but that should give us some nice wrinkles i'm going to come to the simulation tags and add in a cloth tag so i leave all this at the default let's just press play and see what happens and of course it drops down due to gravity so press ctrl d to come up with your project settings switch to the simulation tab set gravity to zero and now when we press play nothing happens so we need to introduce a force into here so I'm going to come up to the simulate menu, choose forces and add in some turbulence. For this, I'm going to set the strength to be 20 with a scale of 75 and a frequency of 50. Now, if we press play, you can see that turbulence is working great. So we don't want the cloth to sort of go crazy like that. We want to hold it in place and we can do that by using mix animation. If we choose with pins, that's going to pin all the points in place and I'm going to set that to be low around 8%. And there you go. And you can see that now we have a quite a nice cloth sim that's sort of staying in place. But of course, at the moment, it's not going to loop. But that's the basic setup for our cloth. So let's rewind, select our cloth object and then choose export. And I'm going to use Alembic. So in the Alembic, um, just choose selection only and enable global coordinates. Um, you also need to make sure you set the correct frame range. So I'm just going to output the whole thing. Once you've done that, um, you can click OK and choose a location and then just click save. Boom, by the power of speeding up footage, we get that nice and quick. Now we can disable everything, come in and merge our Alembic file that we just created. So you just need to make sure you set the frame rate to be correct. Um, other than that, should be fine with the default settings. And there we have it. We now have our Alembic imported. To set up the loop, come up to the Alembic and inside there is our cloth geometry. I'm gonna rename this to loop start and then hold down control and drag this to create a copy. And then I'm gonna call this one end. If we select the object, because it's an Alembic object, you can see down here we've got an offset and I'm gonna set that offset to be 200 frames, okay? So now you can see we've got two layers of the same cloth and one of them starts at 200. The other one starts at frame zero. So theoretically frame 100 and frame 300 should be the same. If we just hide that whole Alembic group now, take one of these and let's control drag to create another copy and then press C to make that editable. Also delete this Alembic tag that's on there. So now we've just got some basic geometry and to this, I'm gonna to come to the rigging tags and add a pose morph tag. Okay, let's call this one cloth loop, select the pose morph tag and enable points. We can delete this first pose and then what we're going to do is we're gonna come up, take the Alembic start, drop that in and click yes here because we want this to um, be linked to the actual geometry and you can see that there. Um, and let's scrub through and you can see that's working. And what we can actually do is just blend between the original pose and the cloth pose. So now we can use our pose morph to create the loop. If we take our cloth loop end and let's just drag that into the pose morph tag and click yes, this pose is now also a live link. And if we scrub through, you can see it starts around frame 200. So once we've got those in there, we can Hide that, come up and choose animate. First of all, we want the cloth end to be at zero because we just want to see the main start sequence. And then at frame 200, I'm going to set a keyframe for the cloth loop end strength. If we jump to the end of our sequence, we can set that strength to now be 100 and add another keyframe. And that should be it. So now if we start frame 100, it should be the same as the frame at the end. You can see there's a little bit of a redraw issue here. And the reason for that is because of the tag 
um, being executed after the alembic so we need to switch to the basic tab for priority choose generators and let's just set that to the maximum which means that the alembic files which are generators will be evaluated before the pose morph tag so i'm going to set the in point to frame 100 and now if i press play it should loop perfectly so i hope you enjoyed that and found that useful obviously we'll work on more complex setups um, and one day hopefully we'll have the caching built in to avoid using alembics for this for more tutorials please visit hellolux.com and thanks for watching.